Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So Aloha my kako, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about stickers. I've owned my sticker business for two years now. It started off as a candle business that never actually came off the ground and I quickly got into vinyl stickers and die cut stickers. So today we're going to talk about the machines that I use, the tools that I use, and the type of paper and laminate that I use. If you are a new business owner or if you're thinking about getting into stickers, um, definitely save this video. I will also link all of the products down in the description bar below with an Amazon link that you can go ahead and shop with. So we're gonna start off with machines. I started off with a Cricut Maker and I was using that for probably like a year and a half to two years. Like I said, I've had my business for two years because I just switched over to a Silhouette Cameo, but I really liked the Cricut. It's a very beginner friendly machine to use. Um, and I still have mine, but it's actually broken. I moved three times with it in the airplane. So I think that um, it broke because of the pressure maybe. I, I honestly don't even know. Because I was making so much stickers, I found out that it's actually more ink saving for me um, and money saving for me to switch over to a silhouette cameo. Not only that, I can also cut bigger size stickers than an eight and a half by 11 and I can cut bigger vinyl and I was just re ready for my business to grow. Um, so I had to make a purchase that would allow that. I have been going on and off with laminating my stickers with a laminator. Don't get me wrong, I do laminate my stickers, but I don't use a laminator currently. But um, I used to have a Scotch laminator and I loved it. It did so well. And I actually found out that you need to have a cold laminator or have an option to switch the heat to cold. I've used three different printers. I can't remember the first one that I used. That was two years ago. Um, it was my first printer, so I used it in the beginning of my business. It was an HP, um, but because I print color so much, I decided that HP wasn't the best in ink savings. Um, so I switched over to an Epson printer, and I think my second printer that I had was an Epson WF to something um and i will also have everything here um written down anything that i miss say or i can't remember um and then um when i moved i had to get a new printer and at that time i was printing a lot more print, um, stickers so i wanted a refillable printer that was what i wanted um and during black friday a printer went on sale that was that was from epson and it is the Epson ET2803, which is the current printer that I use, and um, I have printed like hundreds of sheets of paper out of this printer. It's right in front of me, um, and my ink levels are at 75%. So, yeah, except for my black because I use a lot of black in my designs. Next, let's go into talking about papers and laminators or laminating sheets, sorry. So what I've always used is the Avery 73601 laminating sheet. I get mine off of, off of Amazon. Um, I'm not sure if it's cheaper in store, but I don't care because I just get it on Amazon. This is what it looks like. Um, it's an eight by 10, so it fits a regular size letter piece of paper. It's self laminating or self adhesive, so it only laminates one side of the sticker, which is what you want. If you're a new sticker business and you're looking into actually learning how to make the stickers, um, then I can make another video for that. But for now, this video is strictly on the products, the tools, and the machines that I have. So yeah, this just laminates the top of the sticker because, of course, the other side of the sticker needs to be sticky and not a laminate. Um, I've gone through quite a lot of different sticker papers. Um, and I don't really have a favorite except for what I'm using now because of the situation that it was in. I'll go more into detail um, about that later. I started off with the Neo sticker paper Glossy. Um, it is it was pretty affordable. Um, that was my first sticker paper that I used. 
and I didn't mind it so um, I don't know why I don't use it anymore I think as I went on with my business I started wanting to use the same products that other business owners were using um, and nobody was using Nido, even though it worked for me I wanted to make sure that well if these people's customers are satisfied well then I'm not gonna go and try some other brand of sticker paper that know that it's not popular within the sticker business because even though it's sticker paper these people that use it could that use it or are the customers under that brand are probably people who like make stickers to like put on planners so it's not having to go through wear and tear um but because i've been you know watching other business owners that have sticker businesses i've been gravitating to wanting to use their exact products as well because it works for them then it's going to work for my customers because well stickers are stickers um i then used buttercraft sticker sheets um, those are matte and I actually I really love these they're super soft and when um, I apply the laminating sheets it's super butter smooth butter crafts I mean now these two are probably the ones that I like the most um, it is J&J sticker packet I'm um, sorry J&J packaging sticker paper and it is in glossy now this sticker paper is super thick um, and i've had a complaint about it before actually somebody wrote a negative review on my etsy because of it um and i kind of just had to say that you know well in my descriptions i do say or talk about what kind of sticker paper it is and so i did mention that it's a thick um sticker and they still complained about it um because you know that's just the customer's opinion but not only did i guess my specific customer didn't like the thickness of it um because of its glossiness my Cricut maker at the time when I still was using it um had a really hard time registering the registration marks because of the light reflection so I switched to Joyeza sticker paper which is matte and it's currently what I use now because um after going and using glossy paper and having the issues with registration marks or at least a concern about it registering or not i've completely el eliminated glossy from my um use i don't know i don't use glossy paper anymore i use matte sticker paper and with the laminate sheet that i showed you here this makes it glossy so you know it's the matte that works for the machine and then it's the glossy that works for the customer not only that but um this also makes your stickers waterproof but um yeah i can go into more detail with that on another video so this is the current sticker paper that i use it only comes in a 25 count so so i buy two packages of this instead um and then translucent sticker paper so if anybody likes or if you've thought about making translucent stickers which is super cool um the only thing is that if you put it on another translucent thing like a car window or a mirror or some kind of glass um the ink doesn't show up as great so the best thing when you know your customer wants to use it is to use it on an opaque surface to let the color show because it's translucent so this is the Wee Liu vinyl sticker paper um, and it's translucent, eight and a half by 11. I also wanna mention that all of the stickers, pap sticker papers that I've mentioned today are for inkjet printers. I prefer in in inkjet printers over laser printers because of how the ink puts out on the paper. If you guys wanna know why, um, then maybe you guys can look at another video as to why um, you would want to use an inkjet versus a laser or vice versa it depends on you the next thing we're going to go over is tools um, i'm not going to take out my tools because they're all over the place so i will just insert photos here like i've been um but the nikappa cutting mats is what i use they are 12 by 12 especially when you make stickers you don't want a 12 by 15 trust me um it used to be like my last resort which is why i used to use a 12 by 15 but purchase these um it comes in a three pack and they are clear 
the FedEx guy just pulled up, so we'll see if the, any dogs bark. Um, the next thing that I use is the Iveen Felt Squeegee. This is the bomb when you are applying your vinyl, I'm sorry, your laminate to your sticker because it has a felt edge to the squeegee so you are able to push um, any air bubbles or lay your laminate without scratching the laminate. This is also the time where you would put your sticker paper through a laminate, but I don't have one because I just... Ugh, it's just so much easier for me to go in hand and um, push out all the air bubbles and make sure that the laminate is secure rather than putting it through a laminate. Oh, Should I go get it? Magnificent. I am expecting glass cups, like a 50 count, so I don't know if I want to sit at the front door. Actually, let's go get it. Okay, back to the video. We're going to go on to the next tool that I use, which is the Swiss Alight Weeding Kit. It comes with all sorts of things, everything that you need to start making stickers, making vinyl. And then the next one is a paper trimmer, which is super important. The one that I use is the Li Shin paper trimmer, but it's no longer available on Amazon. But I did you guys a favor and I went on Amazon to look for a duplicate one around the same price. And that is the Wen Winkler, Winkler paper trimmer. Um, again, I will have all of these products mentioned down in the description box below with a link for you to purchase and shop. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I make stickers with. The machines, the supplies, and the tools. Um, and if you guys are interested in how I actually go in, make my stickers, then I would love to take you and show you guys exactly what I do um, and all my settings for everything. I mean, there's a lot when it comes to stickers, but um, yeah, I'm excited to make those videos. If you guys liked it, thumbs up, comment for any questions or any future video suggestions. Follow if you guys are liking the content. I really appreciate you guys sitting here and hanging out with me. Aloha.